Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. Entering the transept and moving towards the crystal fountain where the nave and transept cross, we can look up. The ceiling of the nave and under the lead flats either side of the transept is 64 foot above the ground floor and 40 foot above the gallery floor. This allows for large hanging displays. Carpets hang from the roof trusses either side of the transept and the nave. These can be seen in several watercolors, although various artists depicted the same carpet with different patterns. Within the simulation we have tried to match the size and location of these carpets, using patterns of a similar general style. Here on the gallery at the northwest corner where the nave and transept cross is one end of the glass section, hence the chandelier hanging here. As we travel west along the nave north gallery, we pass under a few more chandeliers in the glass section and then a long line of carpets. About halfway along the western nave there is a gap in the carpets. We are now in the area where musical instruments are displayed. Three sections here have canvas above them, presumably to protect the exhibits underneath. Perhaps the roof had developed a small leak, or maybe there was concern about the potential fallout from small birds nesting in the trees in the adjacent building court. The Duke of Wellington had famously suggested introducing sparrow hawks. Maybe this had not been completely effective. Continuing west, the carpets resume. The simulation currently contains very few exhibits on the gallery level. One exception here is the Tempest Prognosticator, which we introduced in video 39. We now continue to the western end of the gallery, passing the Willis organ, which we introduced in video 43. Returning east along the gallery on the south side of the nave, we notice there were several gaps in the hanging carpets on this side. There are some more canvas covers, here in an area displaying lace. There are no immediately adjacent trees here, so perhaps the leaky roof explanation is more likely. Returning to near the center of the building, we can take in a view of most of the nave and transept, showing the sheer scale of the Crystal Palace building. Here we are looking south, turning through east, north, and then west. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.